Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to build a computer. I'm going to be breaking up this video into two parts and today we're going to be working outside the chassis because we are preparing the motherboard. Before we get started, try to find a work area on concrete or hardwood as it helps to reduce static. And every two minutes or so into building, touch a metal part of your chassis or power supply to ground yourself. You can also pick up an anti-static wrist strap and work mat for cheap, but it's not entirely necessary. Also, a clean setup like mine is essential. For this part of the build, you'll need to gather your motherboard, CPU, and RAM. Take your motherboard out of its box and you'll see it's covered in anti-static plastic. Remove the motherboard from the anti-static plastic and try to only touch the big plastic parts of the motherboard. Go ahead and place it on top of the box again, as this is where we're going to work on it. Taking a tool around the motherboard, in the center you'll see a big grey socket, which is where your CPU will go. In the top left, you'll see a 4-pin, or sometimes 8-pin, CPU power connector. To the right of the CPU socket, you'll see the RAM slots, which this board happens to have 4 DDR3 DIMM slots. Right next to that is a 20 plus 4 pin motherboard power connector. At the bottom of the board, beneath the motherboard battery, you'll find your SATA ports, which is what we'll use to connect SSDs, hard drives, and optical drives. Across the middle we have our PCI slots, which are traditionally used to connect graphics cards, although they can also be used for sound cards, SSDs, and Wi-Fi cards, and a whole lot more. Along the back of the motherboard you'll see our back panel I.O which will stick out the back of your PC so you can access it. Now we're going to install the CPU. Once you begin to unbox it, you'll notice a giant metal thing with a fan. This is your heatsink. Set it aside for now, but be careful not to touch any of the pre-applied thermal paste on the bottom. Once you get the CPU taken out of the box, be careful to only touch it by the edges and not touch the top or any of the gold pins. If you bend any of the pins, you're in a world of pain. Pull back the retention arm on the socket and look on your motherboard for an arrow. In this case, it's in the top left corner, but check because it's different for every motherboard. Once you've found it, go ahead and lightly drop in the CPU, matching the gold arrow on the CPU with the arrow on the motherboard. Be careful not to use any pressure, as it should just fall right into place. Once you have, feel free to give it a little wiggle. Now lower the retention arm with a little pressure, and voila, CPU installed. Now we need to install the heatsink. For this build, we're just using the stock one, but if you're looking to overclock, I highly recommend picking up a better one. Look for the black clips on your motherboard on either side. These are going to be what connects to the heatsink. Lower your heatsink onto the CPU, and give it a little wiggle to spread the thermal paste. Now attach the metal hooks to the plastic hooks on the motherboard, and it should fit loosely. Next, you'll need to use quite a bit of effort to pull down this black plastic piece that will secure it. Don't be worried you'll break it, it should be built to take the pressure. Now we need to connect the CPU fan. Take the cable attached to the heatsink and do a loop-de-loop -loop if it has too much slack before reaching the fan header, then plug it in. It's labeled CPU fan so it shouldn't be too hard to miss. It is also notched, so it only goes in one way. Now we should install our RAM. This is probably the easiest part so far, as all you have to do is pull back on the tabs at the end of the slots, and put the RAM in until you hear the tabs click back into place. There you go, RAM installed. While the motherboard is out, you might want to grab the speaker that came with your case and plug it into the appropriate front panel I.O. pins. Consult your manual to find out where those are on your motherboard. And that's it! You've successfully prepared your motherboard for installation into your chassis. Feel free to click to the next part of the video where I'll go over installing everything into the case. Thanks for walking. Walk. Thanks for walking. Actually, that works. You know, if, if you're glad to walk, or if you roll in your wheelchair, I don't care. You know, I don't discriminate. Uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe, or leave a question in the comments. But if you didn't, shame on you.